I decided to hit the water. Uh, I didn't show you another quarter, some pull tabs, but this one is a 1965. But I think it actually was dropped near 65. So, anyways, let's see what we can get. Just got my first interesting thing. That's just some sort of pendant, I guess. It's kind of flimsy and light, though. I don't know what that's off of. Hey, digging's been hard. Lots of trash. Here's a quarter. Okay, I got a, I think a penny, a bunch of pull tabs. But there's a nickel. Okay, 67 penny, so looks like we're uh, kind of at a 60s old dock area. So maybe we'll get some silver. Nickel. That scoop had two quarters in it, a 65 and a 67. Man, we're getting close. Yeah. That's pretty solid. I'm calling silver. I see it, but it ain't silver. It's like a knob off a boat or something. Dang it. And that sounded good. 57 weedy. That's a little better. I've been just dancing around 60s coins, so hopefully we'll get some silver. That's a little better sign. I think I might have an old watch part here. Maybe there's a pocket watch around here somewhere. I have no clue what this thing is. Yeah. Let me know. What is that? Crazy. That was like a little gear. Mm -hmm. It's old. Okay. I just dug a 10. Looks like it's a little ring. Oh. Hmm. Little turtle. And unfortunately, yeah, that's a bling. But hey, a ring. All right, I got me a wheat penny, 1947. So I'm kind of just just cruising down the shoreline, hoping to bump into something. So hey, I'm gonna have to grid this spot off a little bit, see if there's anything else here that's older. Hey. Maybe we're getting close to some silver. There's another weedy. 1940-something. Some smooch right on that last number, so. That's pretty cool. All right. Let's get a Merc. Hey, we might be onto something here. Here's another weedy. 1955. Yeah, I don't think it's a double die. Darn it. Okay, well, I just did this thing. Came up in 1920. <sighs> what in the world? Kind of looks like a faucet. But good lord, is that fancy? I don't know. Cool though. Okay, bud. Oh, got her. Sit. <laughs> Sit. Tough in me. Where'd it go? Get out of the hole. Get out of my hole. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, back up. Back up. Oh, look what you found. Look what you found. No, you can't eat it. God. Bud.
All right, looks like I got me another ring. It's broken. And I'm thinking that's bling, unfortunately. But, still jewelry. Got me a little ring here. Let's see what we got. Mm -hmm. It's looking pretty blingy. Yep, it's bling, bling, but heck, it's a ring. Another weedy. I really can't tell the date. I think it's uh, mm. my best guess is 1914. So I'm out here today, and I'm gonna detect her in this old dock. So the water does go down. And I did work this years ago with my AT Pro. And the water has come up a little, but I'm out here with my Nox and my Scoop, and I want to see what I miss. So far, I've only got two dimes that I kind of just started, and a bunch of pieces of junk. But or if I remember this right, a lot of this, uh, a lot of the coins coming out of here were in the 60s, and so I always expected to get a little silver. And I don't think I got any jewelry, so anyways, I'm going to rework it and see what we can get. First signal, or first good one, I guess, is a quarter. All right, does anybody know what the heck that thing is? It almost looks... Oh, straps and... A, and kind of looks like a bracelet almost, but... Can't imagine. Hey, if you know what it is, you could win this. <laughs> Canadian dime. Man, I am not used to how those hit. That's weird. Hey, there we go. Last year weedy. Nickel. All right, I just dug a huge piece of lead. As you can see, it has a patent number on it, so I looked it up. Let me see if I can show you this. Yeah, maybe my own shadow's gonna get in the way. Anyways, what it was is these are just, it's a patent for casting pieces. And there's like a handle, and you can see there's like four of those things on there. And supposedly, I read about it, they all weigh five pounds a piece. And the whole point of this patent is just an easy way to carry lead. And then you break them off as you need them. So, anyways, I guess that's a five pound piece of lead right there. Sure feels like it. Wow, look at that impression. That is not a penny. That is the clay. <laughs> so that's weird. That's like a bracelet or something. But it's got lead on it. I don't know. That's weird. Maybe this is some fishing thing I'm not aware of. I don't know. Let me know. Well, that makes more sense. That sound was weird. So there's another 67 penny. But this was just a tick. And I thought, well, it'll be easy to dig with my scoop out here. And uh, yeah, so I think this was a penny on edge. All right, nickel. Centennial quarter. Yep, 68 penny. So, yep, 60s are kind of playing out like I thought they would. So this pile, I got a 25 signal. I'm close enough to the bank that I'm just dumping on the bank and using my pointer. It's just going to be easier. All right, third coin, dime. Well, there's weedies all over the place. Where's the silver, man? Come on. I mean, where there's a penny, there should be a dime, right? Look at that. Invisalign, I think. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen one of those out detected. I wish it was a grill. 
Oh well, let's see what else we can find. <laughs> hey, I got a Weedy, 1957. Not exactly the silver I wanted, but hey, silver nickel. What do we got? 1944. So, you know what I like to do on these uh, war nickels? I don't know if everybody knows this, but you just look above the Monticello. If there's a P, an S, or a D, a big one, which I can usually see that better than the date, then you know it's a war nickel. Anyways, boom, Silva. This might be worth the live dig. High 30s. I mean, usually a sound like this is going to be trash, but it's happening right now. Could be silver. Just a regular quarter. Do you see this huge rock? I got a signal through the rock. Look at that. You know, that is very heavy. Like, I know it's only part of a knife or something. But I am really thinking that is silver. Let me wash it up and see if I can see anything on it. You know, that's a heartbreaker. I'm pretty sure with that low in numbers, that's stainless. But I can't believe how heavy it is. That is some solid stainless for sure. Crazy. Hey, look at that. Got me an old marble. Yeah. That one is an old one. Huh. What do you guys think? I haven't ever seen one like that when I was a kid. Hey, I think I got something cool here. This is a booming 30. I don't know. Oh. It's going to be a token. Tell you what, let me wash it up and I'll turn you back on. All right, hopefully we can focus. This is a first for me. First National Bank token. 90th anniversary. 1882 to 1972. So, yeah, I guess that's about a, probably it's a 1972 token. Cool. All right, just grab me another wheat penny. This one is a 1955. Doesn't look like a double die. I don't think. All right, let's see what else we can get. Well, it looks like I found part of a marijuana pipe. Padlock. Cool little piece of jewelry here. Unfortunately, I think it's probably going to be bling, but it's like a little arrow pendant or something. It's pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. Look at that. I dug a chain and it's junk. The rare, rare chain. Uh, well, it'll pay off next time, hopefully. That was a one.